Good day YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy Rich Nice back again with another video. So today we got a new project uh, product for the RAM. Uh, it's a mounting solution for our cell phones. As you know, uh, with the 12-inch screen, there's not a lot of place to mount a cell phone, especially one that's as big as mine, uh, which is the Z Fold 2. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I think we got a fix for that. Uh, so without further ado, let's look at this mount. All right, so here's the mount. It's from Bullet Point Mounting Solutions. As you can see, you can follow them uh, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Um, here's the product number. Hopefully y'all can see that. If not, y'all can freeze it and blow it up. Uh, and it's bulletmountingsolutions.com is their website. So uh, inside, all right. So in the kit, you'll have your two cell phone mounts. I bought the dual kit. Uh, you can buy the single. Uh, basically, this piece will fit in here, and then this piece right here will mount on here and allow you the adjustability to turn it uh, left or right. Um, so you get two of these, you get two of your cell phone mounts, and these are expandable. Uh, but they will not fit my cell phone, which is the Z Fold 2. As you can see, it's huge and wide, but I have a different uh, mount for this. So uh, we'll see if that'll work. Uh, also in the kit, you'll get a T15 torque screw uh, wrench. A screwdriver which always comes in handy another bracket an actual bullet itself uh, and that's pretty much it and basically this piece fits on top of your dash uh, there's a rubber pad that's up there where your 12 volt cigarette lighter is You'll take that out, take the two uh, T15 screws out. This will mount in its place. You'll screw it back in, tighten it down. These themselves will fit on here just like this. Uh, because we're not using their mounts, we're using a different mount. I bought these little balls. And these are, uh, I believe... 21 millimeter on one side and 17 millimeter on the small side. So uh, I've already test fit these in my other mounting solution, which I'll show you here shortly. Uh, and basically the way these work is you just unscrew this. Let me screw it that much. Take screw these back in. And this will go to our aftermarket mount. And this piece right here, we'll mount on here just like this. Come on. So you want the uh, screw on the outside so you can be able to adjust it. So it mounts just like that. And again, you want to turn this so it's on the outside so it's adjustable. Uh, and then your our aftermarket mount will mount here. And you have your one for your passenger that my wife will be able to... Uh, turn whichever way she wants and then I'll have one for my actual cell phone on the driver's side uh, which this will connect to just like that so pretty simple uh, again I'll put everything in the description down low uh, so let's get into it <clears throat> all 
All right, YouTube. We uh we made it outside to the truck to start our uh, <clears throat> install our bullet mount uh, solutions. Um, this is a quality mount. It's made out of real thick steel. Uh, the holders are really thick to hold your phone. Uh, and overall, it's just a good, good quality. It's not a, your cheapest mount that you can buy out there by any means. I think this one was like $140 for the double. Uh, but they do make it for Ford, Chevy, Dodge. You just put your truck or your vehicle information in there, pull it up, um, <clears throat> and it'll tell you whether or not it supports your particular vehicle. So, um, like I say, it's a really, really good mount. Uh, <clears throat> they do have, uh, when I showed you the uh, pieces, the actual arms themselves, or the, the actual holder for your phone, uh, you can actually take that out and get a really strong magnet that goes in it from the same site. So you can have a magnet instead of the little holder for your phone. Um, <clears throat> it just depends on what you want to do and what you want your mount to look like. Um, but because I we have over large, oversized phones, should I say, uh, we're going to be using the actual aftermarket mounts that I have. Uh, so we're going to combine the two. And this is the aftermarket mount that I have right here uh, I also put this link down in the description I think this right here was just fifty dollars but it's also uh, a charger uh, that when you put your phone in it will actually uh, and this is the charger itself uh, the plug goes down there it's a uh, USB-C um, <clears throat> but once you plug it in uh, you can close it and it will actually charge your phone while your phone is sitting in it. So I have two of these, uh, one for my wife, one for myself. So we're going to use these uh, instead of using the holders that come with the actual um, bullet solution. So bullet mount point solution. So uh, without further ado, this is where ours is going to mount inside of here. So there's this tray that's in here. So, oh, let me get a little light for you guys. Anyway, <clears throat> right here you'll see your uh, two 15 inch uh, or 15 torque screws in there. We got to pull those out. Uh, so I'll do that now. screws um, <clears throat> the kit does come with its own set of screws now you can use the same screws you just took out but I suggest you just use the screws that came with the kit and these are the screws so And these screws are Phillips head. I know you really can't see it, but these are Phillips instead of uh, Torx, uh, which is the reason they give you their screwdriver that comes with the kit. This is your double ball mount. And you just place your screws in it like this. I got other fingers today.
right, there you go. You put your screws in just like this. This also has uh, double-sided sticky tape on the bottom. Uh, so you can use that also. And basically, you just peel the tape off. It's a uh, three. All right. <clears throat> All right, so before my battery died and my card got full, we mounted our mount inside here. It uses two screws, Phillips head uh, that comes in the kit. You have your balls right here. Um, <clears throat> these are the arms that we'll use. Uh, they just got thumb screws on them. One end goes on just like this. put your your set screws on the inside or the outside doesn't really matter then we're going to take our uh, aftermarket uh, foam mount and then loosen the top one get the ball in there down So this is what it'll look like uh, again it comes with its own mount so you don't have to buy any extra it's just that I have super oversized phones so this is the mount that it comes with it's spring-loaded and basically you do the same thing put the ball in the arm tighten it up and then you can rotate this so if you want your phone uh, vertical or you can turn it so you can have your phone horizontal um, again this particular mount that I bought this aftermarket that I've had for a while it does come with a couple of mounts for itself it comes with one that actually sticks on the dash with a round suction cup it comes with a couple foot events but not all vents are the same, so it did not work in my particular vehicle. Um, yeah, my vents are strange, so <clears throat> as you can see, uh, it didn't work in my vents here or over here. Um, so we just took it out and we went with this route. Uh, so it's pretty easy to use. And basically, uh, what we'll do is... We'll uh, plug it in underneath and then plug it into our cigarette lighter behind it. And you see the light comes on red blue white and then there's a not sure how well you can see that but there is a blue g right there in the center um and basically what you'll do is like my z fold is huge it's like a seven inch screen uh and see i put it in there and automatically closed on my screen so 
basically we'll do the same thing for the other side uh, and I'll show you what that looks like with two phones so the aftermarket mount that I did buy that we're not going to use all the parts for we're just going to use this piece right here and the actual uh, cable to hook it up uh, it does come with this mount right here uh, again you can uh, pull it out it stretches out so you can put it on your windshield or wherever you can actually put it up here but I had no success with this mounting to the dash and any of my vehicles the Hellcat the Jeep or the Audi where this thing would stay so on the dash so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that uh, this is one of the other mounts that it comes with uh, this piece right here and this basically hooks into your vent and then you use this piece to brace it but again this is kind of flimsy it doesn't really work that well and especially not in my vents or the Audi which has round vents it doesn't work in the Jeep which has round vents and it won't work in the Hellcat so what are we to do we replace it and get it something else so <clears throat> that's all that's in this kit so basically we just need our wire for our, uh, and we'll be good to go so let me get this thing wired up and find the other wire and we'll be back alright so this is what it'll look like on a regular size phone um, well y'all can see that with the glare uh, that was my wife's old phone it was a Note 8 she has a Note 9 now but same thing um, this is what it looks like from my side again we don't use this little cubby hole up here anyway uh, the only thing we do use it for is like sunglasses or something like that which they still fit up here you just pop them in like that plus I also got a place up here plus we got a massive amount of storage down in there um, <clears throat> so there's lots of places to put stuff so this works out well. I can still see over my phone, even though it's huge. Yes, I know. Um, so I think she'll be happy over the overall product. Again, this is billet point uh, mounting solutions. Uh, and I figured out what this bullet is. This bullet is a can opener. Uh, so you, there's the mouth right there. You use the pop bottles or whatever. So. I don't drink, but you never know, I might give it to my pops or something like that. Who knows? So, um, again, billet point mounting solutions. These are quality products. If you don't want the double, you can always get the single. Um, you just go to their website, and I'll link that in the description as always, along with all the other stuff that uh, is in this video, all the different mounts that I used that are not regular uh, doesn't come with this kit itself uh, again happy new year uh, wishing everybody peace prosperity and nothing but good health uh, 22 is going to be great and I expect nothing less for any of y'all as always thank you thank you thank you to all the subscribers all the uh, people who started with me from day one all the new people uh, we got a few more things coming this year. Uh, hopefully, we'll get back on Project Smoke. I'm currently looking for an engine, LS type, um, so we can get him up and rolling and uh, maybe do something with him this year. Uh, but that's going to be a long work in progress. Um, one more look. Not interfering with the screen or anything else. So, yeah, I would say uh, we are good to go. Not interfering with the vents, you still get your heat out, still get your AC out. So overall, I give this product a thumbs up. Super, super, super high quality, uh, great material. Again, it's not cheap, but like anything else in life, you get what you pay for. And on that note, much love, peace.